Hello everyone. Uh, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Uh, I'm thrilled to have uh, everyone uh, joined here for the wonderful session uh, with uh, hosted by Hasi, Hasi Talks. Uh, so, the further ado, let's get started. Uh, so, in this uh, in this session, uh, uh, what you're going to uh, going to explain is uh, uh, how we are using a Hasi Card Packer in our data science uh, product uh, called Decision Facts. So, really, the Hasi Card Packer uh with using in our product it, it saves a lot of time and uh, in the slides i'm going to explain what all the features that we are using and uh, how uh, how we are solving uh, uh, uh the time and the complexities with with the help of a packer in our data science product so let's get started just a quick uh, Introduction about me. Uh, so this is Prabhu Rago. I'm co-founder and CTO of Decent Facts, and uh, I'm currently working on uh, the data science product called Decent Facts, and uh, uh, more focusing on the technology um, and the research-driven approach model that we are taking in in this product. And a quick uh, talk about our product. So our Decent Facts is a uh, B2B SaaS platform. Uh, which which offering many uh, platform as a service uh, model as a service and uh, AI based uh, uh, LLM as a service all these features that we are providing uh, via our decision packs uh, uh, platform so for the uh, foundational thing is uh, uh, what we are using uh, here is a uh, uh, kubernetes containers and the vm images that's 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 a foundational thing uh, that we are using uh, and also we are a cloud agnostic so with the help of a packer this image is uh, we build uh, in automated mode and it's deployed into uh, our our platform and the customer's platform everything managed via this packer so that's a uh, uh, we thought okay this is the best use case that we can present into the hasi talk uh, uh, with the uh, tool uh, so that's what i'm explaining here so as i said uh, in our product what we have is a model building as a service. So model building as a service, basically, uh, we have an inbuilt uh, Jupyter uh, notebook, uh, and it enables with various data connectors like SAP, uh, Google, uh, Query, Redshift, uh, uh, Postgres, MySQL, MongoDB, many connectors we have. So all these connectors and the integrated with this notebook, we have a different runtime. The runtime is nothing but Python uh, 3.9, 3.10, Spark, and uh, uh, extracting the content from various uh, sites uh, or various uh, various source of documents, basically, that is bundled inside the container image that is called Spider. So all these images that we are building uh, with the help of a packer, um, so uh, that that the once the they open the notebook and then they they connect to a Kubernetes uh, cluster, this image will be this container image will be in a running mode and then it will connect and then for example, uh, if you are if you want to connect to a snowflake uh, connector in this notebook you can write a code and the snowflake connector uh, will be established to the snowflake instance and then get the details read and write all the operations will be done so with the help of this uh, packer this this our uh, framework and the connector components everything will be pre-installed so that the users choose the runtime like a python 3 3.9 or 3.10 and they can choose and launch so this is what the model building as a service and the advanced analytical as a service is nothing but a scenario tracking. So this predominantly we are uh, cloud agnostic. Uh, we are using uh, AWS, Google, and Azure. So all these images are pre-bundled with our agent code. That agent code is uh, basically look for the notebook, whatever they people submit, and then it will uh, process it in a batch mode, and it will the output will be uh, uh, written into back to our storage, or it will be uh, writing into uh, the, the users that they want to write it on their APIs or their database, everything it is possible. So all this, this, this agent code and this connector, everything will be pre-bundled in the image. That image, what we are using here, uh, is going to launch and is basically it will provide a uh, digital twin and the scenario tracking uh, components. Everything will be provided uh, from here. Advanced Analytics as a service. When coming back to AI-based application service, uh, so. With the latest trend, uh, the LLMs, large language models, and uh, the custom custom models, uh, all the models like uh, hugging face models, all the models what we are uh, supporting, they can build a rack system, or they can build any prediction, or they can build their own 
a large language model as a service all this uh, thing can be can be built by using our platform again this fundamental uh, building this application by using a ai based application uh, this images this is a vm image like in aws AI, amazon machine image or a google image or a azure image all this will have a the base component which will uh, when they choose a hugging face let's say they want to llama 2 want to launch uh, 13b or 7b or uh, any other misral or any other llm that they want to choose they can they can select the uh, llm and then they can deploy so what happens this uh, base by by getting this parameter that vm will be launched in its view and then it will deploy and it will provide you an llm service endpoint that endpoint can be used in uh, rag system or any other system so that the the users wants to build with, uh, want to build into their uh, custom use cases so for that this vm images all built with our predefined uh, uh, agent and the component uh, with the help of a packer we build this one so again if you see in on a high level uh, blueprint of our architecture uh, in the bottom layer is a, a compute on any cloud Azure, AWS, and Google, and any data that we support, any any data sources that we connect, or any type of model. So that is the underlying layer. On top is the important layer is the VM images and container images. That is the one going to uh, execute and process the input and uh, perform other operations and then write it back into storage. All this requires uh, VM images and the container images that will uh, pre-bundle with our agent code and the components. So uh, on top of it, Desinfax engine, that is the uh, the controller, the API layer, and the user interface. All it's connected to the runtime images that the customer is uh, going to launch. So this is a high level, um, um, our, uh, the, the, the architecture here. As I explained, uh, uh, building uh, model building as a service. So whenever, uh, let's say, if you launch a Python 3.9 or 3.10 or Spark or any other custom models or custom containers that uh, the user wants to connect with their notebook uh, in our platform. So we build uh, these images. So we completely automated thing by using a have packer and the, with the help of AWS code build. Uh, the reason we, we use a AWS code build is uh, uh, we have started with AWS uh, cloud first. So the code build automation we have established. So then with the help of a packer, the building images uh, earlier, what we did is uh, manually building image and uploading into AMI and then sharing this machine images to other customer uh, accounts. So what we did is with uh, using Hasikar packer uh, in a single click, uh, it, it pulled the latest uh, uh, code from our GitHub repository and then build uh, build the image and then uh, publish the uh, machine images into our private uh, machine uh, private ami and then uh, it will send the notification to our uh, the backend portal and then that the, in the backend portal uh, our moderator or a platform admin will be able to share our machine images to the customer uh, accounts so this is the process so uh, we bundle the agent create a uh, create an image with the help of a uh, packer the container image here in the kubernetes and then we launch it and the next one is a uh, advanced analytic as a service it's it's like a simulation thing so any any models like a forecasting or uh, any predictions or any kind of a model uh, that that so the basically our our platform the core form is what uh, supporting simulation model. So the, the simulation customer can make it sense uh, what uh, which model is uh, doing a good which one is uh, providing high accuracy. So for this, this model has to be uh, uh, built and executed in order to do that. The foundational thing is uh, VM images or uh, the the containers. Right. So the VM images and the containers all pre bundled with our agent module. So the agent model when it uh, when it launches as an uh, virtual machine image, virtual machine instance, uh, it will look for the instruction from our uh, uh, backend controller. So backend controller will send the instructions. Let, let's say, hey, run this notebook, connect to this data source, and pull the data, process it, massage it, and then send it back to uh, storage bag, or send it to our, uh, the, the configured API, or any other external data source that the customer connected. 
everything will be configured in this user interface and then they can run it so uh, they can they can run with various simulations our customers are more running multiple simulations in order to do that the same machine images or the containers has to be used in the same version so that's a packer we build uh, with the, with the help of a packer we build this uh, uh, advanced analytics as a service now another uh, interesting uh, service what we are uh, it's currently in uh, alpha version uh, we had to release for the public uh, usability so what we are uh, building is a llm as a service basically uh, large language model as a service uh, since our base framework have a uh, option to bring your own cloud concept so uh, they can they can ca configure their own cloud and then um, this uh, the images what we built by with the help of packer that will be shared and to their customer account and then they can select any uh, ml models like uh, 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 llama 2 mistral um, or uh, if they have any tensorflow or pytorch model all have a the foundational framework is built inside the image and then from our user interface they can select and run it so when the moment they run it they can provide certain parameters and then once it's launched it will provide you an uh, rest, restful endpoint with the authenticated token so uh, that endpoint can be configured let's say if i'm building a rag system um, with the vector db search if i'm building a rag system this llm service can be configured so that uh, when uh, when they index their content uh, pdf document or images even any other uh, sources that they extract and index it into vector db when they ask the question uh, in a natural language mode it will go and retrieve the vector data and then uh, with the help of LLM, it will give you a sum summarized result. So not to give that, the LLM is a core component here. Uh, by using the LLM uh, service, uh, our uh, model as a service uh, uh, feature will provi provide you an option to create as an endpoint so that that endpoint can be configured. Not only that, uh, let's say there uh, some of the enterprise ca customers, they want to uh, train their own data set all things all things can be done and then they can publish their own models within the private or a public in the hugging case all this uh, can be done uh, like a training a model or uh, fine tuning a model with a prompt engineering all these things are this the fundamental uh, components pre installed in the in our machine images that will be uh, that is shared across the customer accounts so they will be launching and they will be using uh, these services and they can they can get us on the restful endpoints so this is the 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 blueprint of the 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 flow how uh, decision facts uh, uh, deployment management uh, that we are using with the help of a packer so let's say um, our engineering team uh, uh, develop or enable the feature and then um, we created a deployment tax when the moment deployment tax uh, uh, received, uh, the event trigger notification comes into AWS code build and pipeline. Code build will pull image, uh, sorry, pull the data from the from the tag, and then with the help of a packer, it will build the image. The image could be a container image or the VM images. So the container image built, it will uh, the images will be published into our uh, uh, GitHub uh, images repository. Uh, is an image uh, if it is in virtual machine images uh, is the using a packer um, it will be created a private uh, machine images onto the respective clouds so once this image is uh, built uh, if you see the flow the the trigger uh, the first point is a uh, deployment tax even trigger and then uh, aws code build and code pipeline get the notification um, in our build uh, spec yaml file uh, we have a packer component the packer component uh, build the image uh, and based on the instructions either it's a container image you want to build or a, uh, which uh, in aws google azure uh, in future we are going to support other clouds as well so this will, images will be built and the, once the image is built and then uh, uh, this uh, this the the status notification will be sent to uh, um, our engine so that it will be notified to to the um, our administrator or the moderators who can verify and then they can they can they can take action they take an action in the sense to share these images or uh, announce these images is available uh, all this all this activities will be done by the moderator 
So this is a small snippet uh, 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 in the build spec YAML what we are using. Um, so build spec YAML. So first uh, uh, in AWS, uh, with the help of Secret Manager, uh, we have a AWS Access Key and Secret Key. Uh, this is our platform Access Key and Secret Key. And uh, on the next phase in the install uh, component, it will installing the Packer. So the Packer component will be uh, pulled from the public repository, public uh, source, and then it install inside the uh, uh, even uh, in in the machine image, and once it's done, then uh, sorry, let's go. And then in the in the building building section, uh, the AWS access key and secret key will be set in the environment variable, and then set the Packer plugins if it is required. And uh, uh, in in our uh, component, we have a HCL uh, files. That HCL files uh, have instruction. Let's say if you want to build a AWS image, uh, what all the cell scripts uh, needs to be pulled from the repository, and uh, in the cell script we uh, we have a uh, various instructions like to pull the code and set the components and configure these files and uh, build the image. So all this in in the cell script with the help of Packer, these images will be built and will be stored into our private Amazon machine image. If it is in Google. Uh, so we pass the Google key as a uh, parameter into the sec via Secret Manager, and uh, the same thing, the, the Packer will be installed, and the Google application credentials will be as a environment variable here, and then uh, it will install the Google Compute plugin uh, for for Packer in order to uh, build the uh, VM images, and uh, uh, in the in our HCL file for a GCP, uh, we have instructions what needs to be done. Uh, that will be uh, executed here. Similar similar way for Azure also we have. So the same procedures we follow and uh, the Azure images will be built. Uh, so when we when we build the images, it, this images will not directly go to the customer account. It will be into our uh, um, our cloud. So once the sanity check, everything is done, then um, we will share this uh, private machine images to, to the customers on a need basis. Having said that, all the benefits with the, by using a packer uh, in our decent facts, uh, uh, let's see. So as I explained in the previous slides, uh, uh, our decent facts runtimes, uh, either in the machine image or uh, containers, we have a Python, Spark, and various SDKs and uh, the connectors like Snowflake, Redshift, uh, any, all the connectors are pre-bundled. Uh, pre-bundled, not with the credentials, but uh, the, the base framework is pre-bundled. So uh, from the user interface, the customers or the users can select out what connectors needs to be selected in order to pull the data, or if you want to write the data back after uh, my model is completed the process and then gives some some output result. So those are all everything is a seamless seamless uh, mode. In order to do that, these components, the the basic, the the uh, the full flow uh, data components and the agents, everything needs to be pre-bundled inside the machine image. So that's what uh, we build inside the container image or the virtual machine image. So uh, in our DevOps workflow, uh, earlier with before Packer, uh, what we did is so everything is a manual thing. We we manually launch a machine image. For example, if it is an AWS, we launch a machine image and then we do all the uh, security and hardening things. And then uh, inside the machine image, we pull the GitHub uh, code and uh, manually configure everything and uh, uh, from from the respective clouds we right click and create image right so that's what we did earlier but um, the, with the help of packer um, our devops team is so happy and uh, uh, with a single click uh, uh, these images and the container images all we we build uh, within a fraction of a second so because uh, um, the manual thing is, is going to take time and if uh, there are many Many areas that uh, human uh, errors uh, also we faced earlier. So now it's uh, the human errors are completely reduced here. And uh, with the AWS uh, code build and uh, code deploy, uh, this Packer, with the help of Packer tool, we completely automate uh, things. When uh, when uh, when a GitHub uh, get the sends a event notification like uh, tagging, uh, this will this the CI/CD pipeline automatically trigger and the build the images or the containers. So, yeah, uh, 
that's that's all uh, uh i mean the and uh, uh thank you for everyone to join here uh, uh, see this uh, the flow thank you